hi guys I am here to do my next week's planner spread video with you this will be for the week of August 22nd through the 28th um, I'm sorry for the bad lighting it is about almost 10 o'clock at night I finally got my kids to bed and got the house cleaned up and I'm gonna sit down and try to do this with you so this is this current week today is actually Saturday so I have not tracked anything for Sunday yet um, but this is my spread this week and I'm actually getting kind of sad that it is time to turn the page on this week because I have absolutely loved and been inspired by this week's design which is funny because this is the first time that I did not use a kit. I did it all with just um, scrapbook paper and mm, I did one strip of washi tape and then just stickers and stuff. But um, I've really loved it and I've stayed really inspired and actually done really well tracking. So I'm going to go over this one with you really quick and then we will get on to next week's. So... I did really well tracking all my food and my points. Um, I didn't stick so much to a structure of points. I tried to get close to the points that I had planned for the day, but as long as there was a good kind of ebb and flow to it, I was okay. So like Monday is usually a 30 to 32 day. I only had 22 points that day. Um, it was just a light eating day. Everything I ate was very low in points. Um, started off my breakfast was only two points. So that definitely set my day. Um, and then lunch was only four points. But I had a lot of food. Um, I definitely tried to stay lower carb, higher protein this week. And so far I have to say it is paying off. I feel great and... Let's just keep it at that. So every single day this week I have gotten all of my waters. Tuesday is usually a 24 point day. I only got 20 points. So these two were kind of similar. But then I jumped on Wednesday which is a 34 to 36 day. I actually had 37 points. Um, Thursday is usually a 30 to 32 point day. I had 28 points. Friday is a 24 point. I was right on. Saturday I do around 30. I had 32 today. Um, I had a birthday party today. I did eat some cake. Um, I calculated everything I ate at the party is 14 points. Um, so I did really well there. And if you remember, I added this little insert in. Track, 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 which I get a check for. 30 minutes of activity at least three times. I did my 30 day challenge every day this week, which is awesome. I did Bikini Body Mommy day one and two on Monday. I did day three on Tuesday. I did a two mile walk on Wednesday. I did not exercise on Thursday. Yesterday, I did, yesterday, which was Friday, I did day one of Jillian Michaels' 30-day shred. I did not get to day two today, but I will do a round tomorrow. And then today, I did Bikini Body Mommy this morning. So, I get double checks for that. I did, beyond just my 30-day challenge, I did one, two, three, four, Five, and I plan on doing some tomorrow, which is six out of seven days this week. So I have really pushed myself to get that activity in. As you can see here, I have not posted my steps for today. Right now I am at 10,581, but I've hit 10,000 steps every day. Um, so it has been a really good week. I am actually going to move this insert and this insert to next week's spread. Um, and yeah, I just had a lot of fun and a lot of inspiration with this week. And 
I'll be sad to see it go. However, I did go off plan a little bit. I had planned on one of two kits to use this next week, but I switched it up and I didn't love the new stuff at first when I first started sticking, actually sticking stuff in my planner for this week. I did not love it. However, I have changed my mind. It has a lot of gold in it, so I'm going to tip this book up a little bit just to try to catch the, some of the glare. So I am going to move the two little inserts after tomorrow. But this is my next week's spread. This is a white washi with gold dots, but it's almost transparent. And I can't seem to get a good video of it without it glaring because everything is dark except for the light above me. But this whole kit, this is a kit from Prince Paper, which is a shop on Etsy that I got. Um, I used this kit because I had this one little sample of beach stickers. And we are going to the ocean. My husband and I are going to the ocean on Sunday. And I wanted to use that one sticker. So I wanted whatever I used this week. The two other kits that I had planned to use, this sticker would have looked out of sorts um, because the colors were completely off. So I went through until I found a kit that would somewhat go with this one square here and the little jellyfish um, because I really wanted to mark the ocean. The ocean is one of our favorite things to do. So I wanted to use that sticker. So I found this kit, which was absolutely gorgeous. Um, it just was not on my top list of kits to use this week, but I'm certainly glad I did. So I used a thick washi at the top with the green color in it. I did a follow your dream and then just a, excuse me, icon label here with my videos and a camera. The little camera is from Jay Whackers. So I have a few um, videos I'd like to film this week. This week I am joining from Monday through Friday. I am joining Celia and Cherie and Amber and M. Wilson. Um, I think at this point that's it. But we are joining um, the seven day vegan challenge. I am only going to do five days of the vegan challenge because my husband and I are going away for the weekend. Just the two of us. It has only happened one other time um, since our daughter was born and she just turned two. So I just don't want to go away and feel restricted. I don't ever get to eat in restaurants. I don't ever get to sit and have a nice meal. I just want to be able to eat what I want to within reason this weekend without feeling restricted so I am only going to be doing I am going to start the challenge on Monday I know everybody else is starting on Tuesday they are going Tuesday to Tuesday I am going to do Monday through Friday so that is my plan this week so I do want to do a planner spread video which I am doing now I'd like to do um, all what I ate vegan this week um, I would like to find one vegan recipe to do a cook with me, um, something that even vegans could make. I think I'm going to do it on my curry. I usually put a chicken or a shrimp in my curry, but I think I'm just going to do a vegetable curry. So I think that is going to be my cook with me because I love me some curry. Um, and then my weight is enough on Wednesday. I think that will probably be it. There will be a few fewer videos this week just because um, I won't be filming at all this weekend. However, I think I will be making a What I Ate video all five days. So, that being said, I have just a tracker box here for my steps and a hydrate box from Jay Whackers for my waters. A little Wayne sticker for Monday. Uh... Today I choose joy. That's a good thing to put on a Monday morning. I am going to do my YouTube um, comments and responses on Thursday because Friday I will be busy 
packing and making sure our house is set up for my mom to stay here with her kids, make sure everything is where it needs to be, where she can find it. Um, so Friday I will kind of be focusing on that and getting stuff together. So I'm going to do my YouTube on Thursday. Friday, uh, Saturday night, we are driving from where we live in Vermont to Foxborough, Massachusetts. We are headed to um, Gillette Stadium where the New England Patriots play. And we are going to the big Country Fest show there that night. Super excited. We actually bought our tickets in February. Um, we went once before my son was born four years ago. And we have not been able to go back since. Um, so we're super excited. Uh, the headliner is Kenny Chesney. Um, Miranda Lambert is going to be there. Um, Sam Hunt and a few others that um, will be on the show. The gates open. I think the gates open at 4. The show starts at 5. So I'm super excited about that. I need to find a little music sticker to put in here. I did not have anything to put in there so maybe throughout this week I can pick one up to kind of stick in there but that's pretty much it for this week um, I really love this spread and I'm glad because I was a little apprehensive when I first started um, this kit like I said was from the company Prince Planner this kit is sized for the Erin Condren, so they didn't fit, and I wasn't quite liking the way that it looked. I was going to try to fill in the white spaces, but it just didn't look right, and when I added the extra washi, it just changed the whole look of the two pages. So I'm, I'm really in love, and I think it is going to be magical. So that is it for the planner spread this week. I'm going to flip you back and show you. I did not do a regular meal plan page. Um, I kind of, being that it is a vegan week, it's a little new to me and I will have a vegan grocery haul that I did yesterday. Um, that will also be going up on Monday so I don't know which one will be up first this one or that one but um, basically I just tried to buy a few things to get me through that I can kind of eat over and over again Monday I'm going to make a big batch of vegan taco soup that I can eat for lunches and or suppers and that's something that even if I don't eat it all next week I will just put it in the freezer and keep eating it um, I didn't want to go too crazy and buy in bulk of things that, number one, I didn't know if I would like. Number two, they're very pricey. Um, but once you see my grocery haul, you will see I kind of mapped out every day. I'll be okay if I switch things around a little bit. I just kind of wanted to have an idea of where my days were going. So I have um, anything from oatmeal... A smoothie, uh, cereal with almond milk, um, chocolate oatmeal. I have, um, I will have to check my cocoa powder. I don't know if that actually has um, milk in it. If it does, I won't use it. I will just do pumpkin again. Um, but like I said, these were just kind of an idea. I bought three packages of smoothies, so right now I only have two. Um, taco soup for lunch or I bought some um, smoked bacon flavor tempeh strips like bacon um, so BLT I bought some vegan bread um, I bought some veggie burgers so just some roasted vegetables or sauteed vegetables with a veggie burger taco soup Wednesday and Thursday I am not sure if my husband is going to be home um, because he is taking some time off next week, he may have to work straight through this week, um, right through till Friday. So if he's not home, I will just do whatever, um, I feel like eating that night. Um, if he is home, I will kind of try to adapt whatever we are eating as a family 
to fit my meal plan. Um, I have, I told my husband it was his lucky week because I will be making like full fat, full, you know, 80, 20 beef recipes with milk and butter and everything for him. I have you know, a couple of larger casserole dishes, a big shepherd's pie. Tomorrow I'm making a big pot of um, chicken stew and biscuits. So he will have some stuff to eat all week. I'm not going to make him eat vegan food. Um, but then lunches, you know, I bought some uh, faux chicken tenders. So maybe some chicken salads. Um, I am going to do my curry. I have it on Friday, but I think I may swap just as, like I said. I'm not sure if my husband is going to be home. I think I'd rather do a cook with me video on Thursday rather than Friday because I can tell it's going to be crazy here on Friday. So this is just a base of what my week is going to look like. I'm going to have to go Monday and get a few more fruits and vegetables. I did not buy any in my grocery haul the other day because I still had plenty to get me through the rest of this week. So I will have to go and get a few fruits and vegetables for next week. But So that's kind of, and then here I just wrote some um, ideas down of things that I can eat for each snacks and um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Just to keep it on hand, to kind of have it available. Um, once I had written it on here, I didn't feel like I needed to. Excuse me. <sighs> I did need to transfer it onto another sheet. Um, so I just kept it on this paper, which is fine. So that is what this week's spread looks like. I am pretty excited. Oh, I am going to do my question and answer. I think I am going to try and do it Tuesday, this coming Tuesday. Um, I will link from now until then. I will be linking my question and answer video in the description box. Please leave any questions you would like answered. Um, I already have quite a few questions, and if I get a few more, I will definitely be filming my uh, Q&A on Tuesday or Wednesday. I should add that to my... I don't really have any room, but I'm going to squeak it in here. Hmm. Alright, well maybe I will put a separate sticker down when I actually film it. I will put it on the page, but... This is my weekly spread. I'm so happy with it. It is beautiful. I cannot wait to do my September monthly. I actually think I was going to start with fall, but I think I'm going to wait one more month to do that. Um, I've been really wanting to do a black and white weekly spread, but that's really hard for me because I write so much on my weekly spread. The blacks are really hard to see so I would have to cover most of them up. So I actually think, at least right now, I am going to do a full scrap paper, black and white September kit for myself. So that is coming. That will probably not happen. <sighs> well, we're going to be gone next weekend. And I'm not sure yet what the following week looks like. My husband may be on vacation. And if he is, we will be out of town for a couple days. So I'm still not sure how all of that is going to go. But for now, this is our glance at a week. And that is it. I'm going to flip you guys around and talk to you for just a minute. Hi guys, so don't mind the hot mess that, like I said, almost 10 o'clock at night, and I just got done. I wanted to get my planning done, and once I started, I couldn't stop, <laughs> but I had a really good week this week. I feel like I did everything to maximize my weight loss opportunity. So far, so good. I have 
I have slipped back into weighing every day. Um, last few weeks have kind of been up and down for me. Um, I'm down quite a bit from where I was on Monday. Uh, the humidity has been a lot less this week, which has been so nice. It was so hot for the, the last week or so. Um, but I've really done good this week. I've gotten a lot of activity in. I've hit all the goals that I set for myself. I have to say truthfully that if it was not for Amber from Amber's Weight Watchers Adventure and Jess from Weight Watchers Journey to Healthy and M from M Wilson Fit Fam, the three of them have become not that they're, you know, they've just become good friends. We are trying really hard to support each other and encourage each other and pick each other up when we are having a bad day and they certainly have done that for me so I say thank you to them if you have not checked them out their channels please do I will try and link all three of them down below they are all beautiful ladies on their own weight loss journeys they are all doing Weight Watchers um, they're just really inspiring and it has become a little family and I feel grateful and appreciative of the support. Um, M and I have been uh, FaceTiming a couple times a week. It's amazing to be able to see their face live instead of just like this on a video. Um, Amber and Jess and I talk, I talk with both of them all day long, every day. It's just become really amazing and I'm really grateful for them. So the last couple of weeks would not have gone as smoothly or as successfully without their encouragement and support. So thank you guys. Um, I hope everyone has a great week. I am so looking forward to going away this weekend. I'm a little sad about leaving my babies, but they will be here in their own home with my mom. Um, that is one of the best things about being back in this house with her next door is that when we go away, it doesn't have to be a shock to my kids. Um, they can still sleep in their own beds. They can still play with their own toys. Um, so I don't worry as much, even though they've always spent time here at my mom's before we lived here. It was still hard for them to adjust without their things and their beds and their comforts. So I'm not as worried this time that they are going to be here where they're not necessarily unfamiliar but just uncomfortable. So it makes my mind rest a little easy. And it will be really nice for my husband and I to just go away and have a day or two to ourselves. So. I'm hoping the week doesn't drag too slowly, but that is it for tonight. I hope you guys all have a very successful and wonderful week. Be kind to yourselves. Bye, guys.